What's going on YouTube? This is SR Drone. I've been thinking, I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos concerning the, um, I guess the need or the importance of uh, running your, your camera settings in manual versus uh, automatic. And not only that, also uh, using ND filters as well. And I'm not saying I'm 100% for this or 100% for that. I think ND filters are a great thing. Um, but I'm gonna be quite frank, I've seen a lot of videos where people are showing the difference between the, the settings without an ND filter and then the actual video with an ND filter and I can't sometimes seem to tell a difference. So I did a couple tests. The, the first test that I'm actually gonna show, I actually uh, went to a local, went to a, one of my, uh, just a local park and I actually did some, some uh, video using no ND filter an ND8, I'm sorry, ND4, an ND8, and an ND16. And you'll see that video as unedited, uh, sort of like a split screen, but I actually have the screen uh, split up in fours, uh, just so you can see. Um, and then I'm actually gonna do some video where I'm actually gonna use my ND filters, with, do the same test without an ND filter with and with all the different ND filters, but I'm going to actually have the settings at a manual setting, and I just want to see if there's a difference there. Because again, I've seen a lot of a lot of uh, YouTube videos, and I, I don't know, man. It's, it's a it's like a hit and miss. So I will be back shortly with a, you know some video clips, and we will we're going to work this out. Okay, guys. So here we are. We're looking at the four video clips that I actually made. One is using no indie filter. The other three are using the ND4, an ND8, and an ND16. All four of these video clips are being recorded in automatic, uh, so I'm not using any manual settings for the camera uh, settings at all. Uh, if you look at the, in, the, the clip with the no ND filter, as you pan up and get a more of a sky, I can see how the, the exposure does get a little on the positive side. Things can get a little, little overexposed. But other than that, if you look at the ND4, the ND8, and the ND16, I'm going to be honest with you. In my opinion, most of these clips look very similar. I mean, there's nothing drastic. I mean, you can look at it and look at this color and that color and, and, and you know, look at the ground. Or I mean, it's, it's, they're very similar. And I will say that the automatic settings did keep most of the exposures on all of these are right around zero. Um, now, of course, the ISO change and the shutter speed all would, would changed as well. And I don't have that information. Um, I didn't record that when I was taking these videos, but more importantly, I just wanted everyone to look at this and just kind of observe the, the no, what the automatic settings with no ND filter, and then looking at the different ND filters also using automatic settings. The next test that I will do will be the exact same test, but I'm gonna use manual settings, and I'm gonna be targeting, I typically run at 2.7K at 30 frames per second, so I'm going to be targeting uh, an ISO of 100 and also uh, a shutter speed of 60. All right, so now we're looking at the same setup, except now we're, we've switched the camera settings from automatic into manual. So I'm shooting at an ISO of 100 and the shutter speed is at 60. Clearly, if you look at the, the clip where there's no ND filter um, installed, I mean the image is highly overexposed same thing with the nd4 now the nd8 is a lot better although it is still depending on which you know how, how what you're looking at what you're pointing at you do get some overexposure even using the nd8 so clearly we needed a a little bit more a higher of a filter which is the nd16 now the nd16 gave us the best uh results of all of the filters and having no filter um, the exposure probably went from i would say minus seven even still up to about 0.3 overexposed depending on what you're looking at but in general the the exposure was 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 much closer to what we wanted uh in comparison to the other nd filters all right guys so we've seen two sets of video the first set of video uh showed all of the various nd filters at least that i have and no 
indie filter all under the automatic camera settings and I think uh, the first question without a doubt we can answer regardless it is definitely better to have an ND filter on your, your camera. I mean, the filter will clearly help eliminate overexposure. It helps with your your the, the colors. Um, your video just seems to, to liven up when you have them on. So I think we've confirmed that we definitely want an ND filter moving forward. All right, well, the second question we need to ask ourselves um, is it, better to use manual camera settings over automatic. Me personally, I have actually had more positive experience with cameras uh, using automatic and using an ND filter at the same time. When I've looked at some of my video where I've used the manual, if you're not perfect on matching up the right ND filter for the type, for the type of uh, of, of amount of light that you're shooting at, it's it's much easier. I mean, it's very easy to, to cause yourself more of a headache because I've found that sometimes I've had, uh, I've been shooting in a manual setting and all of a sudden, you know, I have perfect exposure when I'm pointing in this direction. And as soon as I angle the camera down, the exposure just goes crazy. Or if I angle it up, the exposure gets really overexposed. And, and I just feel like I'm doing more, ed too much editing sometimes you know, when I'm, you know, just, you know, editing my, my videos. And I noticed with automatic settings, listen, as long as you have an indie filter, uh, especially an indie filter that's, you know, the proper, um, you know, I guess, uh, you know, uh, size indie filter for the amount of light that you're using, I just felt like my, 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 um, my video was just much more fluid. You know the transitions of the different lights lighting situations went from once one end to the next a lot smoother it was less editing i had to do i actually just had a more enjoyable i feel like i have a more enjoyable experience editing automatic settings uh video versus manual but that is my opinion i'm no expert um so everyone has their own preference on what they like to shoot with i actually like having an automatic camera setting um on my cameras while using the ND filter. Okay, guys, I just wanted to just show this this one last clip. Uh, this is just looking at um, this was this this video was also taken on the same day I did the previous test. We're looking at an ND16 with manual camera settings on the left, and we're looking at an ND16 also with automatic camera settings on the right. Now, if you look at both images, okay, the exposure is fine. I, I personally think the image on the right looks a little bit sharper, a little bit cleaner. But one of the things I wanted to show in this, as this video uh, progresses, you'll see that the exposure will change. You'll visually see the exposure, which you can see right now on the left. Uh, what's actually happening is the fact that the clouds are moving around, such as where the sun is being shaded and blocked. So you can physically see that difference in the light. One of the things with the automatic, that transition is not as apparent. And what's happening is the fact that the camera is automatically adjusting as the light lighting is being uh, altered while it's recording. I mean, you can see the image on the left, the manual is significantly darker. They were very close when I first started both videos. Um, and what you'll see in a second, if as the video progresses, you'll actually see the image lighten up on the, on the manual uh, video from the sun, you know, from the clouds moving and the sun showing. And you'll, it, if you just give it a second, it will pop in. Yeah, here it comes now. You can actually see the, the, the transition of the ground and the light. And see, this is just something you don't see as much with automatic. And this is one of the reasons why I find it easier to edit an automatic uh, video, a camera shot in automatic versus manual because you won't see all of these changes in, in your exposure in the same clip in the same shot. And it just causes for a little less editing. And these are just one of the reasons why I choose an automatic camera setting over manual. Okay guys, so you've seen the videos, you've gotten your opinion as far as what I prefer, the automatic over manual. Uh, please leave a comment. Let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. If you guys are more comfortable with uh, manual settings versus automatic. Um, otherwise, you know, this is SR Drone. 
Until next time, be safe.